So I know I'm always talking about how Desmos is the magic solution to a lot of these complicated looking constants questions on the SAT, but then you run into a question like this. Let's break down what's going on here. Believe it or not, this question is actually pretty simple and we're going to do it without using Desmos. All we need to know is one really cool shortcut. It is a formula and it's the formula for the product of solutions for a quadratic. That formula is going to be product of solutions equals C divided by A. And I know what you're thinking. Brother, there ain't no A or C in this question. But we have to remember this is in relation to our standard formula for a quadratic, which would be AX squared plus BX plus C. So when I talk about A and C, that's the A and the C that I'm talking about. If We match this up with this up here. Even though we have all this crazy stuff going on, it's actually just the coefficient for X, which means that everything in parentheses is B, which we don't care about because all we care about is C and A, right? So we could ignore all that madness. C is going to be all of the constants over here. So I would have uh, 3TF divided by a, which is the coefficient for x squared, 36 in this case. I can then simplify this into 1tf over 12, and it says the product of the solutions is wtf. So this would be equal to wtf. If we eliminate, we have tf on both sides in the numerator, so we can eliminate that. And then w equals 1 over 12. Choice D is my answer. If you're ready for more challenging questions, this guided study video is going to cover only hard-rated questions on the SAT in both English and math.